Welcome to the Mill Creek Shop. Today we're going to show you how to replace and adjust the ratchet pawls on your Mill Creek spreader. When the apron chain is not throwing manure out the back, the most likely cause is a need for the replacement of the ratchet pawls. The problem is easily identifiable. A worn out pawl will have a groove worn into the top edge. Pawls wear out under normal use and will wear out much more quickly if the spreader is driven over its 5 mile per hour limit. Pawl replacement is a relatively easy operation. You will need two half inch wrenches, two 9 16 inch wrenches, and a pair of needle nose pliers. Begin by removing the dry sprocket cover on the left side at the rear of the spreader. Next, remove the retaining nut on the rear pawl. Now, move the spreader so that the roller is at the top of the star cam and the pawl is in its lowest position. Pull the pawl off the shaft. The pawl is under tension from the spring, so be very careful as you do this. Unhook the pawl from the spring and discard it. Attach the new pawl to the spring and slide it onto the shaft. The shaft hole must be on the bottom of the pawl and the pawl must be in the lowest position on the sprocket. Hand start the retaining nut, but do not tighten it yet. Next, take the front pawl off. This pawl is also under tension from the spring, so be very careful as you do this. Unhook the pawl from the spring and discard it. Take the front pawl off by loosening the retaining bolt and removing it. You can now pull the pawl off the sprocket. Attach the new pawl to the spring, position it correctly, and slide the retaining bolt back into place. The shaft hole must be on the top of the pawl. Turn the nut back onto the bolt and tighten it. When you have it snug, back the nut off one half turn. The pawl must be free to rotate on the shaft. To check the pawl for correct adjustment, move the spreader so that the roller is on the highest point of the star cam. The front pawl should be against the sprocket tooth. On the rear pawl, there should be a gap of 1 8 to 1 16 of an inch. To adjust the gap on the rear pawl, loosen the inner nut. The pawl shaft now slides up and down. Adjust it so that the gap is the correct width. You might find it easier to properly adjust the gap by using a spacer such as a flat washer of the correct thickness. Now, tighten the inner nut. Then tighten the retaining nut until it is snug. Then back it off one half turn. Take the spreader for a short dry run to make sure it operates correctly. If everything checks out okay, replace the rear cover. Your Mill Creek spreader will now be as good as new. Congratulations on a job well done.